coming from Newark and being a mayor, uh, where you're actually connected, I think, uh, you know, to a place more than senators can be sometimes, because they're in and out. You were just in, you were in Newark. You were living and breathing in Newark. And uh, gun control, you just co-sponsored a bill to ban bump stocks. But I think your experience in Newark is that handguns are still the biggest issue uh, when it comes to gun control. What are the steps, as someone who actually, you know, lived in a city where that was an issue, that you think we could take as a, as a nation? Well, I very proudly still live in Newark. And I live in the central ward of the city. It's a low-income community. And uh, we deal with these realities. In fact, uh, as tra the, the, what happened in Las Vegas, my mom lives in Vegas. It was a, it's a terrible tragedy, and it should grieve us all. But in addition to that, though, in the aggregate, every single day in America, we have a mass shooting in the aggregate. And communities like mine, you know, uh, right around the time that we had this shooting, a uh, horrific shooting of, in fact, one of our Congress people got seriously wounded. There was a shooting on my block, literally across the street from where I live. So this is something we Americans, uh, millions of us deal every single day uh, with high levels of violence. And what I found out in Newark is, it's actually not law-abiding citizens that are, that are doing these shootings. They're criminals who so easily in this uh, climate can easily get their hands on guns. And so when you have these massive loopholes in the law that Democrats and Republicans, gun owners and non-gun owners, all think, in fact, over 80% of gun owners think it's crazy that we live in a nation where a suspected terrorist could go to a gun show uh, and fill up a trunk full of weapons uh, by, by using, exploiting the terrorist loophole. The overwhelming majority of Americans think we should do something about it. Congress has not acted. And, and this is outrageous, and we should rightfully point out the NRA, but please understand, that we in America, we, we forget the power that we have to make change. You know, the civil rights movement, we didn't get civil rights legislation because Strom Thurmond sat there and said, oh, okay, yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give, give equal rights to folks. No, it was Americans demanding it, fighting for it, getting up every single day. The opposite of injustice, of justice, is not injustice. It's indifference, it's inaction. And, and we as Americans who believe this passionately have to get engaged I have to start pressuring, have to start pushing, have to start fighting, uh, or else we're gonna, I, I fear we're gonna see this continuing on a daily basis, dozens and dozens of Americans punctuated by these mass shootings. It's gonna continue to happen until we stop it from happening and pass uh, uh, reasonable gun safety legislation in our country. Well, best of luck. I'm pulling for you there. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here.